A pack of wolves is strong enough to bring down a massive northern deer. The predators thought the prey like a wild donkey would quickly surrender, but the wolves clearly underestimated their opponent. The donkey proved to be an incredibly stubborn fighter, leading the wolves on a prolonged chase, demonstrating remarkable endurance. When the wolf finally caught the donkey, clamping its jaws on sensitive nose and lips, the hoofed creature did not give up. Instead, the donkey used pain as a stimulus, delivering powerful kicks with its hooves to the wolf. The herbivore cruelly knocked down the predator, ran straight over it, and continued fleeing, warding off all other attacks. Today we'll show you other cases in which donkeys proved that they should not be underestimated. The wolf lunged at the donkey, grabbing it precisely by the trachea with its powerful jaws. However, the hoofed animal surprised the predator, breaking free and delivering a strong sidekick with its hoof to the wolf. It was an inconvenient position for the herbivore to be in to counterattack, but the kick was strong enough to send the wolf flying. The wolf attempted to continue the attack, but the donkey's owner's shout scared it away. A human can be proud of their pet. How would you react if you witnessed a wild predator attacking your pet? If you've ever had such an experience, let us know about your story in the comments under the video. A donkey and a lion found themselves in the same enclosure. The donkey grazes and approaches the lying lion. The predator, satiated, doesn't attack the hoofed animal, but won't tolerate such audacity. Ready to pounce on the persistent neighbor, the lion doesn't realize who it's dealing with at all. The donkey reacts instantly, delivering two devastating kicks with its hooves directly to the lion's face. First, a light kick with the front leg, then a turn, and a powerful stunning kick with the hind leg. This combination knocks out the lion, its force pushing it into a corner of the enclosure. The predator is in shock. The donkey watches to see if the lion learned its lesson or if it needs to be repeated. The lion sits obediently in the corner. The donkey moves aside. Such bravery from the hoofed creature deserves your like, doesn't it? Here are two donkeys peacefully grazed in the enclosure. It's hard to say whether a tragic mistake or intentional sabotage occurred, but an entire pride of lions was released among the hoofed animals. The donkeys tried to run, but they were literally overwhelmed by a living wage of huge predators. Surprisingly, even with a ratio of one to five, the donkeys didn't immediately succumb to the pressure of the massive panthers. One of the herbivores managed to kick the lioness directly in the chest, while the other continued to resist for some time, fending off multiple lionesses, pressing him to the ground simultaneously. However, the numerical advantage of the predators was too great. They managed to overcome the resistance of the donkeys and to deal with them. This story has a sad ending, though, for the donkeys. They were defeated. But just notice how much effort the lionesses had to exert. It's as if they were dealing not with small hoofed animals, but with rhinos. Each of the donkeys held off several lionesses. The predators did not expect such fierce resistance. If there were three or four lionesses, they would probably have struggled to succeed, don't you agree? The donkey got scared when it sensed the approach of the lamb, mistaking the little one for a source of threat and instantly reacted with a kick. The hoof hit the small animal right in the center of its body, and the lamb literally flew away. Was it really an unprovoked burst of aggression? Not really, some conflicts with donkeys happen accidentally. Donkeys have eyes on the sides of their heads relative to the center of the muzzle, making their field of vision very wide compared to predators with forward-facing eyes. So the donkey can see what's behind it. However, there are blind spots. The little lamb didn't know about this and approached the donkey precisely where the hoofed animal couldn't notice the little one. The donkey assumed it was a sneaking predator and just kicked blindly just in case. 
by the way, that's why humans should never approach donkeys and horses from behind. But this donkey knew what it was doing. It's hard to say what exactly angered it in the behavior of the desert fox. Did the small fluffy predator dare to attack the hoofed animal? In any case, the fox didn't know who it was dealing with. Otherwise, it would have fled when the donkey first appeared on the horizon. As you can see, the donkey didn't waste any time trying to deter the fox by kicking. Instead, the hoofed creature deployed its most dangerous weapon, its teeth. The fox has excellent reflexes and usually evades such lunges. However, the donkey acted too swiftly and the fox underestimated its opponent. As a result, the small predator found itself in the jaws of the formidable herbivore. This domestic donkey, accustomed to human protection, hadn't been softened by its life and displayed unexpected ferocity. The enraged hoofed animal tossed the poor fox in its mouth like a rag. The sharp jerks and powerful rhythmic movements of the neck were so strong that the donkey broke the fox's neck and inflicted numerous other fatal injuries in less than a minute. It's challenging to say just where this cruelty originated. Whenever the donkey realized the fox could move, it would lower the enemy onto the sand, but only to grip its throat more securely and forcefully. The herbivorous beast would then lift the small predator up again. The donkey's bite strength, combined with its intimidating jerks and persistent desire to deal with the enemy, turned the fox into nothing more than a broken toy in the jaws of its opponent. However, perhaps this incident explains the fury during conflicts with predators. This elegant and incredibly strong snow leopard sank its teeth precisely into the donkey's throat. Any other hoofed animal in this weight category would have been doomed on the spot. But the leopard didn't know who it was dealing with. The donkey just walked. The leopard didn't try to grasp the prey with all its paws. Instead, the predator seemed to embrace the donkey only around the head while the rest of its body dragged on the ground. It was part of the plan, I think, and hunting tactics. The panther wanted the donkey to lower its head under its weight, making it a little bit easier to throw it off balance, bring to the ground, and finish off. But it didn't work. The donkey calmly walked, not even lowering its head, but rather dragging the leopard like an exotic living ornament. The herbivore tried to take advantage of this and trampled the leopard, but it also fell short. A draw? Not quite. The hoofed creature didn't actively resist. Perhaps the leopard interpreted it as despair, but in reality, the donkey almost didn't even notice the opponent. It seems the predator's grip didn't cause the donkey much discomfort. The leopard compressed the trachea, hoping to gradually strangle or at least partially cut off the victim's breathing. But it couldn't achieve that. The donkey couldn't care less. It calmly walks with the leopard around its neck. Then the hoofed creature lies down, but that's not a problem. It's just resting. The leopard is in shock. It's being ignored during what initially seemed like a successful attack. The donkey effortlessly stands up again and continues walking. In the end, the snow leopard finally realizes that the donkey is too formidable of an opponent and releases its grip. The donkey lazily brushes off the enemy, and the leopard hadn't felt such humiliation in a long time. Sometimes the donkey engages in serious battles with other hoofed animals. For instance, here it bravely fights a camel. The opponent is almost three times larger than the donkey, surpasses it in raw strength, and possesses a crucial tactical advantage, its height. The long neck and towering withers significantly complicate the donkey's attempts to reach the opponent's throat. Yet, the camel consistently reaches out and grabs the donkey's back, neck, and head with its enormous jaws. In a way, camels and donkeys are similar. Both are robust animals adapted to the desert climate, toughened by their environment, making them formidable adversaries. They avoid inflicting fatal injuries on each other unless genuinely provoked. However, in this case, the patience of both opponents seems to have wavered. 
they are seriously fighting. The camel tries to break the donkey's spine. The entire back of the hoofed animal fits into the larger beast's mouth. Still, the powerful musculature and tough skin protect the donkey from genuinely dangerous wounds. On the other hand, the camel suppresses resistance and throws the opponent off, thanks to a clear mass advantage. However, the donkey stubbornly returns to the fight, jumps, rears up, all this to reach the opponent's throat. And here, the donkey battles a pony. These horses are much more formidable than people think. However, donkeys are also underestimated, so you witness a duel between two genuinely dangerous animals with a deceptively peaceful reputation. Ponies were bred for work in mines, so despite their modest size, they possess incredible strength, endurance, and a rather grim temperament. Note that both opponents, while occasionally trying to knock each other down with ramming attacks and kicks, primarily use their jaws. The same applies to cases of battles between donkeys and horses. Although both species more often use hooves to fend off predator attacks, they settle their disputes with each other using their teeth. It's due to the donkey's bloodthirstiness, something the horse didn't really expect from the smaller animal. Right under the jaw of both hoofed animals is a vulnerable spot. A bite there can cut off breathing and strangle the creature. Therefore, aiming for the muscular base of the neck makes no sense. You need to target precisely under the lower jaw. Both herbivores are well aware of this peculiarity and attempt to reach the vulnerable area on each other's bodies. Surprisingly, despite the camel's superiority in strength, mass, and size, it couldn't definitely defeat the donkey. The donkey is too assertive and robust, so when a donkey refuses to submit to humans, acts stubborn, doesn't follow commands, or goes wherever it wants, it should be regarded as relatively mild behavior. It could be much worse. Strangely enough, donkeys are remarkably loyal to humans. Moreover, it's usually the owners who manage to separate the two battling animals. Among themselves, donkeys also engage in desperate battles. They can kick and fight with hooves, but in a genuinely intense conflict, they resort to using their teeth. They strike not only at the throat, but also at another vulnerable point on the opponent's body, the genitals. If a donkey manages to bite this area, it not only inflicts excruciating pain, but can also fatally wound the opponent. Donkeys don't just bite. They grip the target in their teeth for an extended period. It sounds pretty terrifying, doesn't it? They aim for this area not out of cruelty, but for tactical reasons. The donkey's body is very robust, and finding a place to strike isn't exactly straightforward. However, damaging large blood vessels near the surface of the skin and the groin area could be fatal for the opponent before medical help arrives. While they didn't reach this area in this instance, the aggressor still grabbed the opponent by the hind legs. The donkey managed to lift both hind limbs of the enemy, making it perform a daunting dance. The victim donkey didn't expect such cruelty, but now it won't mess with this opponent. The tactic of delivering dangerous blows to the most sensitive areas is often employed against horses. Reaching their throat is challenging, but the tail is a different battle. The height of the donkey is perfect for a cunning strike in this area. A frightened horse might panic and run away from a donkey half its size to avoid severe injuries. A donkey can unexpectedly display such malice and aggression that a single warning is enough. Here, the donkey does nothing. It doesn't hit the horse, doesn't kick it, and doesn't attempt to bite. However, using body language, the small hoofed animal clearly communicates one simple thought to the larger creature. If the horse dares to touch the enraged donkey, only one of them will see the sunrise. The horse didn't expect such an aggressive warning. It just wanted to say hello. Fortunately, the large animal realized the potential consequences of persistent behavior. 
and the horse retreated fearfully. What do you think about this donkey's tactic? Although donkeys have the reputation of being incredibly stubborn animals, they also exhibit several virtues. For example, they're patient. Here a dog was having lunch next to a donkey. And while dogs typically dislike having other animals loiter around their food bowls, behaving rudely towards the host companion proved to be a mistake. The donkey had no intention of taking the neighbor's food and simply wanted to spend time together. However, the dog misunderstood the friend's motives and started to snap. The canine, perhaps recalling its predatory ancestors, decided to assert dominance. The donkey tolerated this behavior for quite a while. The dog mistook the donkey's friendliness for weakness and continued to occasionally nip, bite lightly, and intimidate. The donkey attempted reconciliation, but the dog didn't understand who it was dealing with at all. In reality, the donkey could have easily dealt with such an opponent if it chose to. Finally, the dog got carried away, believed too much in its own strength, and moved away from the food bowl, almost snapping at the donkey's face. The donkey had had enough. It turned around and delivered a stunning kick with its hind hoof right to the dog's head. The herbivore hit the target the second time, and this was a devastating blow. The dog crashed its head into the wall and almost collapsed under the donkey's feet. Now, it won't be so cheeky anymore. Sometimes even domestic pigs can show aggression and attack their farm neighbors. It might seem amusing, but pigs are genuinely dangerous. They are massive, and a thick layer of subcutaneous fat provides excellent protection. However, this boar clearly made the wrong choice of its target. The donkey doesn't tolerate insolence, and even against a opponent twice its weight. Moreover, the donkey realized that kicking the intruder would be futile. Instead, the hoofed creature grabbed the boar's nape with powerful teeth and lifted the opponent right off the ground. The pig did not expect such resistance and screamed in desperation across the yard. This will be a good lesson for other potential troublemakers. The donkey didn't let go for a long time. Its neck is much stronger than it appears, just like its jaws. Therefore, the more massive boar couldn't break free from the grip. It had to wait until the donkey played enough, enjoyed the punishment, and released it. In the future, the boar will never dare to challenge such an opponent again. Hyenas surrounded a donkey right here during a night hunt. Dangerous wild predators pose a threat even to lions and leopards. Hyenas may seem clumsy, but they can move very, very quickly. Their main weapon is their jaws. A hyena's bite literally shatters bones. It seems that if a pack of predators were to handle a lion, they could quickly overpower and tear apart a donkey. But the hyenas didn't know who they were dealing with. The donkey turned out to be an incredibly tough fighter. It immediately noticed the approach of the predators, but unlike many other hoofed animals, it didn't panic at all or even think of retreating. The hyenas stopped right away. Apparently, they had received their fair share of beatings and understood that if they weren't feared, it was no gift but a trap. Indeed, the enraged donkey launched an attack on several hyenas at once. The hoofed creature easily dispersed them, as if Superman dispersing unruly street hooligans. The hyenas didn't expect such resistance, but wisely decided to keep their distance from this opponent. If you think the donkey is just bluffing when it attacks predators and that some hyenas could easily handle it, then you're mistaken. In reality, it wasn't the donkey that was in danger, but the predators. Their numerical advantage saved them. Camera footage captured various instances from different countries when a hyena attacked a donkey alone. Even domestic hoofed animals proved strong enough for powerful resistance. Moreover, the donkey simply beat up the hyena, turning it from a dangerous and fearsome predator into a pitiable semblance of a hunter, worthy only of sympathy. A hyena attacks a donkey, but the hoofed animal's body is very dense, with thick and tough fur and strong skin. 
Naturally, the predator looks for the most convenient way to grab their prey with his teeth, usually targeting the tail. However, the hyena doesn't know that today, it's the one here as the victim. The donkey swiftly rotates and catches the hyena with its own teeth. This predator was not accustomed to fighting with its paws and relies precisely on its jaws. When the donkey attacks a smaller animal, it skillfully and reliably seizes it with its enormous teeth around the neck, ear, or skull. Initially, it might seem that the herbivore could only give the hyena a nip, but that's not like it. It turns out the donkey's bite is much more dangerous. The hyena clearly didn't expect that. The donkey grabbed the opponent from above in a way that prevented the hyena from breaking free and counterattacking. Its jaws couldn't reach the enemy, and the predator found itself trapped. It's entirely helpless because the hyena isn't accustomed to fighting with its paws. Moreover, the donkey surprises with its tremendous strength. It effortlessly lifts the hyena. The predator's front paws are off the ground, and its head is firmly caught in the donkey's grip. The secret to the donkey's formidable bite lies in its diet. These animals belong to the semi-desert and desert fauna being herbivores. In the harsh climatic conditions of arid regions, vegetation is not lush and succulent, but rather incredibly tough, hard, and prickly. The donkey gladly consumes thorns that 90% of other herbivores could never even handle. Thanks to this, the bite's strength is immense. Additionally, like horses, donkeys have flat, not sharp teeth. Therefore, they don't cut the food during grazing. Instead, they grind it like an industrial vice. Indeed, it's a genuine set of industrial pliers. The cruel, desert-like character of donkeys pushes them to deploy their weapons at the first sign of a threat. The hyena simply didn't know who it was dealing with. The donkey not only completely neutralized its ability to attack, but practically immobilized it. The neck is a sensitive area for many animals, and the adjacent area contains large blood vessels and cervical vertebrae. An attack in this region inflicts severe pain on the hyena, literally paralyzing the predator. Moreover, the potential injuries are significant. Notice the sharp, jerky head movements the donkey makes, squeezing the enemy in its jaws. If this were to continue, the herbivore could easily snap the predator's spine, grinding the cervical vertebrae. In this way, the herbivore practically decapitates the predator while keeping the skin intact. The donkey doesn't like getting messy, so in a way, the donkey spares the opponent. Surprisingly, after a few minutes, the donkey releases the enemy. However, the noble act of the hoofed animal is shown in quite a specific way. The donkey walks back and forth with its prey, as if mocking and showing the hyena who's really in charge. This painful and frightening lesson will be remembered by the hyena for the rest of its life. Amazingly, an ordinary donkey turns out to be a more fearsome and formidable fighter than some sort of a cheetah. Moreover, if necessary, the donkey can use its hooves to trample the hyena. With powerful kicks, a small but strong and compact donkey can throw away a large predator, deflecting the attack from a dangerous angle. And if it were to grab the hyena from the front and simultaneously start stomping or kicking, it were to become a beating for the helpless enemy. Didn't really expect to feel pity and sympathy for a hyena now, did you? Or perhaps you believe the predator won't leave this hoofed creature alone, and therefore you'd prefer the donkey to finish the job. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. We would be very curious to know your opinion. And share your opinions of the donkey's fighting qualities in general. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see even more incredible episodes from the lives of animals that few expect to perform heroic feats.